a little update video here for you and it'll be fairly short but thank you to all my viewers all my subscribers but particularly all my commenters um, and this video is for you because you've asked a number of interesting questions about this MPPT solar charge controller and I'd like to answer a couple of them now so yesterday I tested this with 100 watts of monocrystalline solar panel in series and that's exactly what I've got here again and I pointed out that the efficiency wasn't that great 13 watts on the input, 5 watts going into my battery and thank you to the left hand on YouTube who pointed out I had the load turned on now with the load turned on the book regulators for the 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail will still be working and uh, we can confirm that by plugging in a USB lamp so when the output load is on those regulators are working constantly and that will reduce the efficiency or we'd expect to see a reduction in efficiency but interestingly, even with that load output off completely, and we can prove that the load is off, we're still seeing 11 watts, 12 watts on the input, and only 5 watts on the output. So it does seem to be a little bit less efficient than perhaps we would hope. Now the second thing I want to clear up is around these capacitors on the solar input. The solar input is said to allow up to 100 volts. And I said I'd be wary about that because these are 63 volt capacitors. But thank you to Chris Chester who pointed out that these capacitors are in series. So actually they've got a rating of over 120 volts. And of course we've looked at that before on this channel because this supercapacitor module has 2.7 volt capacitors but the whole module can be charged up to over 16 volts well unfortunately the clouds have come out and uh, we're into the evening now and the sun is disappearing so we're not going to see much more in the way of power coming in from the solar panels out there and the last thing is unfortunately a couple of people have found the price has gone up for this item and in fact the seller that I linked to has sold out which is a bit of a shame but I don't set the pricing or the stock level I'm afraid but if you look around eBay I'm sure you'll be able to find another one so whether the load is on or off it doesn't seem to be terribly efficient this solar charge controller unless I'm still missing something so if you have an idea you can comment down below and I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed this little video give me a thumbs up subscribe down below and comment if you can and I'll see you next time thanks for watching